right this slab is poured here at 27 28 and they removed all the form boards let me see if I can zoom in so this is gonna be what the finished product looks like all right this is why it's fuzzy well, you can see clearly it is so that'll be part of the finished product but we got to keep pouring these slabs now this one's fresh that's why it's still got the battleship gray look to it this one I can clearly see they cut the control joints and that kicks up a lot of dust and with the rain yesterday it just makes makes it look all white but we get a couple more rains and that'll be more of the gray looking but uh, this slab's looking good framers working on the uh, walls they got x bracing up all over there so that's gonna be 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 that's where that's right yours um, I <clears throat> said to management um, I don't like the cleanliness of this job my name's on all the permit boxes mind you and so tomorrow the, the little superintendents are going to have a work party and uh, we're going to clean I just ain't bad ain't real bad but I don't like it and uh, so we're going to get this cleaned up a little bit and uh, got to ask them hey man did you look at this doggone dumpster here need to swap a dumpster out let's get hop to it hop to it let's go we got a show to run here and uh now granted I, I talk all this stuff about the young guys but this is a symphony of craziness out here basically the mayor of the island of misfit toys if you really look at it real close because <clears throat> you can stand in one spot and say just scan right here and oh, I'm just making this number up I can see six things that need to be scheduled like looking in this direction if I go over here four things to be scheduled over there or this pan in view you know five things it's it's just uh, it takes a while to get real proficient at this because there's so much little things going on and these little things become big things but so far the threat of rain it's been ominous most of the afternoon but uh, I looked at the radars and it looks like we not going to have it's going to stay in just inland of us and uh, what else I got going oh uh, folks if I do a video and you don't understand something please watch it a second time uh, again I don't pre-write these videos so uh, sometimes the context as I'm talking may kind of drift uh, but if you watch it a second time you should catch what I'm saying so had a bunch of y'all was was saying oh my gosh the streets flooded is that what, what it's gonna be like when I get here no so I'm gonna show a close-up and this is why I need to watch the video twice so when I get a whole bunch of those questions I do not respond to all 15 emails why is the street flooded? I just say well I'll throw it in the video um, this here is the material that and this gets uh, treated not treated it gets inspected once a week so these will be swapped out these are in the world of construction we call BMPs best management best management practices hell that's why we got to abbreviate everything because I can't say them words but this job of this material that's here is to stop this sediment from going into the stormwater system which at the bottom of the pipe if it keeps we don't do this the bottom of the pipe gets filled with sediment 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 and then you run the risk of a partial or complete ob obstruction of the stormwater system it will not work so we put this material down there it allows water through there and then it filters the sediment so you can see the sediment sitting right here let me just 
get down to the material itself. Well, it's a black matted material. These donuts here are when it gets real. So you know, this is trying to strain the, the debris, of the, the dirt out of the uh, stormwater system. These donuts here, this is another thing I gotta do, you gotta do it yourself. All right, these donuts here are here so when the water gets high enough, the sediment stays low. They could just fall over there and still to get some drainage going. But when we have a frog strangler, when these are here, and the road looks flooded, it's doing its job. It's doing exactly what we paid for to do. And then once a week, we have a third party engineer. They come out and they maintain them. And then periodically, they do a complete street sweep of the whole joint. <clears throat> so we're not completely choking these off all the damn time. So this is a whole other tiny little orchestra, a tiny little orchestra of. Uh, the stuff we have to do to stay in compliance with EPA. Uh, of course, uh, uh, worker safety, child labor. <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but I'm totally for child labor. Uh, anyway, that's about all I've got rambling, bambling do. Uh, windows here at 58, 59. Now I'm assuming that's Eric. I see sliding glass doors over there. I see windows going in here at 6061. Let's just check some more windows. I know y'all probably saying, hey, you didn't walk to the end of the street, chuckleheads. Okay, let me just go ahead and make this video worth doing something. Uh, so what we instructed the house wrap guy to do is not slice the openings for the windows, just in case. Uh, that's just what's been, we decided to do. Normally they cut the openings but with not uncertainty of knowing exactly when the windows are coming, you know, that's been an issue. We've got windows in here. Still no damn sliders. What the hell's going on there? we got windows in 17, 18. And let's see, 15, 16. I see the slider panels. All right, they got to get the laundry room window in there. I see windows propped up against the walls in there. So, all right, windows are starting to come. Ah! And here's the Eric Mobile. His guys are in there right dang now. The uh, Eric's guys always got big trucks with big shoes on them. Big shoes. I drove right past him when I didn't even notice the dang daggone trailer because I was mostly interested in checking out that slab over yours. So looks like window supply is remedying itself. And I can hear him inside installing. Well, let's just go and say hi. Why not? I mean y'all ain't getting the daily updates might as well chitter chat i don't know if i've met these eric's guys just yet sears i think over here <laughs> let's see what's going on brother man hey 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 All right, you with uh, you work with Eric? Yes, sir. Oh, cool beans, man! Been waiting for you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to call Jerry the framer there. A little uneven. Yeah, yeah. They're level, but. Yeah, they're, yeah. Looks like a nice, it's a good looking install, though. Good looking install. Yeah, we're getting windows in there. These are coming in, right? Yeah, did he get the, uh, I didn't even look, pay attention when I walked in. Do y'all have the track for the slider, the sliding glass doors? Yeah, we should. In the box? Yeah. I didn't. I, when I, I just walked in, I was like, hey, let me say hi, hi to the boys. Yeah. yeah well, well, I'm, I'm going to be not here every day okay. for about three weeks. i got to finish up some condos. Okay. Then I'll be coming back full time. But uh, all of these phase two villas here, all of them are mine. Eric knows me. My name's Jamie. Okay. But um, if you have any issues... 
you know, saying, hey, this is, you know, call Jamie. You can tell him to call me. Matter of fact, I'll write my number down here. You can always send me a text. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to. So you're charging all the villas out here? Yeah, it's going to be total 102 structures. Oh, wow. Um, so I wrote my number up there. Okay. And I'll just write Jan my name. Okay. Now, when I get back, though, what I'm known for is I buy Publix chicken for a lot of work or so. So get, oh. somewhere around middle of July, I should be back. And uh, so what, what I do is like I never accept a gift from a customer, right? Okay. So I say, okay. Well, it's, I say, you know, it's very nice that you think I'm doing a great job. But I say, guys, are you all the ones doing anything out here. Right, right. So I said, you know, uh, give me a gift card from Publix. And when I get it down to like 2 $3, I just hand some guy a worker the rest of the card. Um, and I try to buy some chicken. Dude, for 50 bucks, I bought 7.2 pounds of popcorn shrimp. Oh, wow. 7.2 pounds, bro. Those things are good, man. Oh, yeah. So when I get back full time, you got something to look forward to. Long guys, I, I see you're working there trying to install. You got tons of caulk to go through. And then I'm going to call Jerry the Framer. You guys take care. All right, man. Hey, bro.